Okay, so the first thing that we have from Books A Million is this floor puzzle. It is a first words floor puzzle, 28 piece floor puzzle, a 16 page book, and a poster. I got this for my three year old. Let's see um, how it looks inside. It has your basic first words that you need to know. Just gonna pour it out here. Oh, that's pretty neat. So this is the word bill. It's my little book of first words, so it has a book. And this is the poster. Oh. Y'all see it. The poster. And then this is the floor puzzle. Nice giant size pieces. This also for my three-year-old, we picked up this Fisher Price. Um, I would just say it's a little, okay, Little People Words. World, Little People World of Animals. See and And say. this was $16.99, I believe, at Books A Million. <coughs> and it shows you other toys that can go along with this as well. So for my five-year-old, I picked up this um, sparkly jigsaw puzzle. It is a 100-piece jigsaw puzzle. It's sparkly. It's a fairy garden. She enjoys doing puzzles and anything related to learning. So I did pick this up. The puzzle is still in the bag. It's for ages six plus. The top won't come off. One moment. So this is how it's packaged. And it is sparkles on half of the pieces. Okay, and it's a Ziploc bag. That's really neat. So she can reuse this bag, put the puzzle back in, and Ziploc it together. And this is the back. So this is what the puzzle will look like. And this was $9.99 from Books a, Books a Million. I thought this was really neat. Something to keep her... Um, something to do besides, you know... Um, this is something, um, instead of being on a tablet all day, which we don't let them... Uh, she could do an activity, hands-on activity. That doesn't require... Um, any TV or television or um, tablet. So that's why I picked this up for her. But I also picked this Rainbow Magic Special Edition Emma the Easter Fairy. This was in their um, seasonal section once you walk in the front door. And it's by Daisy Meadows. This will be a reader for my five-year-old daughter. She reads on a second grade level. And I believe as she read, you know, books that are, um, as she does more reading, her reading will improve and soon she'll be reading on the third level. But yes, she is in kindergarten and she's reading Junie B. Jones books already. So this is not too far, you know, not too hard for her to read. And I got her a bookmark to go along with her book. So I told her once she you know, want to stop at a certain point, you put your bookmark in and you come back to it and you know where you left off. So she picked this out for her and I picked up the Babysitter's Club book. I remember this series when I was younger, but this is more of a comic version. I remember it was just um, in a chapter version growing up. I, wrote, I read the chapter version, so I don't know if this is the same series, exact series, or is this a revamp? But it's more so in comic book form. So I picked this up for her. They had five series, but we got the first one, number one. Christie's Great Idea. The Babysitter's Club. Christie's Great Idea, book one. We picked up a National Geographic Kids Seed to Plant. So the kids can learn about... Um, seeds and plants and that one was $4.99 it is a level one reader and it has great um, illustrations big words it tells you all about the uh, process of a plant from the beginning to the end and everything 
It has germination, the meaning of everything dealing with a plant, what plants need to grow, how flowers bloom, etc. Then this is for my three-year-old. It is my first reader. I can read Pete the Kitty and the Unicorn's Missing Colors by Kimberly and James Dean. So I will read this to her. She loves when we read to her. My six-year-old son is also in kindergarten, and he picked this out to step into reading. He loves dinosaurs, so we thought this would be perfect for him. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Lost in the Wild, which is a Netflix series, and this is a comic reader also. We are big on reading, so whatever he, you know, whatever they pick out, we go with it as long as they are reading. And this is level re level three reading, reading on your own. Next is the Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny by Marilyn Sadler. This was only, well, it was $10 from Books A Million. It was near the uh, Dr. Seuss stand. Because, of course, it is Read Across America. Well, last week was Read Across America week, but it's Dr. Seuss month or something of that nature. So we picked this up from the Dr. Seuss area. My daughter picked it up, and she says she wants it. So we got that one for her. I picked this one out, the Berenstain Bears Easter Classics. I also read these when I was younger. This is two books in one, and it was only $6.99. For two books in one. And what are the stories in here? The Berenstain Bears and the Big Question. And also it comes the um the Berenstain Bears and the Real Easter Eggs. Those are the two books that are in this Berenstain Bear book. So I picked this up for them. I'll read it, read it to them. And they can also learn to read it themselves. We have, um, we're going to implement where uh, an hour a day we're reading. Everyone is reading. I'll read to them. My husband will read to them. They'll read to us. And we'll, you know, independent read as well. And this book was in the Easter, bu the Easter section. It is called The Easter Bunny is Coming to Alabama. That is the state we live in. My daughter saw it, so she picked this one up, and it is nine ninety nine. Either her or I picked it up. I'm not sure. But she said she wanted it, so we got it. And it just has different things about the Easter Bunny coming to Alabama. I believe I saw the stadium, one of the school stadiums in the book. Yeah. That's, I believe that's Alabama State Stadium. But we got this one. It's really cute. Then for my son, I picked up I Am Smart, I Am Blessed, and I Can Do Anything. I love this illustration. It is really nice. This book is by Lisa Holder and Zulika Holder Young. I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly. But I love positive affirmation books, especially for um, my son. I love this book. And... I will be reading this to them during our story time, our hour a day reading. And it has great pictures. And it's African American kids. The illustrations are like bomb. I love these illustrations. It's really nice. It says, I am smart. I am blessed. Who is the illustrator? Illustrated by Nika Myers. Yes. This book was in the... um. You know, the section with all of the um, African-American. This book was in the section with all of the African-American books. So, yes. I love this book. This will go with our other books. We have an um, old to the fresh cut book. As well as another book that I really like. That's for um, boys. With it's, it's a positive affirmation book. So, I'm going to add that to the collection of that. And then I also saw the ABCs of Black History. I picked this one up as well. It is by Rhea Cortez, illustrated by Lauren Simmer. 
and I've heard of this book. Um, it's a black history book. And we're going to read this one and see what it's about as well. I love, love, love these illustrations. And how it's telling you about all of the African American inventors. That my kids definitely need to know about. P is for power. I like that. It has Gabby Douglas in here. Just a lot of famous people that we learned about growing up. Lady Lorraine, Nina Simone, and then the back has a lot of important things. The Tuskegee Institute. So yes, this is a great, um, has a lot of black inventors and when they were born and what they did. So basically like a glossary of all the uh, people they're talking about in the book. So this is really, really neat. And I'm glad that I picked it up. It was $14.95. And I, I feel like the price is great. I mean, it's a book. Knowledge, in, knowledge is in books. Knowledge is power. So, how do you get knowledge? From learning and reading. We're definitely big on reading. So, that is my um, children's book haul from Books A Million. Um, as well, this is um, everything I purchased for the children's book haul from Books A Million. Um, and this puzzle for toddlers as well as this puzzle for big kids. And if you all have any more great books that you all read to your children and that your children love, whether it's series books or novels african-american readers um anything about the planets and just plants and learning let us know drop that down in the comment below because we love 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 books i have a bookshelf with plenty of books on it i can actually give some i'm going to give some away this summer but yes yeah, just comment down below what you all are reading what are your kids reading um this spring all right so until next time thank you all so much for tuning in to this book children's book haul and until next time i'll see you guys later